Hey guys, I'm Lugina and welcome to Tread Chic. Oh my gosh, you don't know how happy I am to say that to you. You guys, it's been over a year, a little over a year, and I am finally back in my new studio. And I want to thank, you know, my husband, my sister-in-law, Kathy, who helped me come up with the design and my husband who built everything and I'm so grateful especially to all of you for all of your support all of you that have continued to work out with my older videos have been patient with me and understanding that I was so busy with work and everything and getting the design done coming up with the right thing but I'm finally back and I'm here to stay I'm here to stay I'm not going away of course unless something happens but we're not thinking that we're thinking positive things on that note we're going to get started you guys know I'll fill you in on some things as we work out but before we start, I want to remind you to have your water to hydrate and a towel to, for any sweat that accumulates, okay? All right, I want you at incline one. We're gonna have a five minute warm up. I'll tell you about the workout. Let's go. Let's start. So, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to all of those that have continued to be here with me from day one. I'm talking about the teal room. I'm talking about the other room in uh, the other brown room, right? And now this set. Please tell me what you think about this set, what your thoughts are. I absolutely love this look and I am just beyond grateful. Again, my sister-in-law Kathy helped us come up with the design. She helped me put this bookshelf together. And my husband built up this part in the back. And um, this takes a lot of work. It's a lot of math that goes into all these little strips of wood and all those things. So I'm hoping to get a vlog together. I did record as we did it. So as he did it, because he did a lot of the work. <laughs> so um, I hope to have a vlog so you guys can see it. But if not, we're still going to have these workouts. I'm going to do my best to get a lot of info here, all right? All right, so guys, we have a five minute warm up. And then let me tell you a bit about this workout. It is called the Power of 12. And so I say that because we're gonna be going up to 12, okay? And so we're gonna be starting off with incline one, then three, six, nine, 12, and then work our way down. Then we're gonna head up to two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and then back down. Every time we get to, in to incline one, back to incline one, we're going to walk. Oh, sorry, we're going to run. All right, so that's what's gonna happen each time we get back to incline one. And then at the end, we'll have some, we'll alternate between walking and running. All right, are you excited? I am. I'm beyond excited to be back here with all of you guys. It almost seems surreal because I remember the last video that I posted um, saying that it was the last time that I was gonna be in Illinois. Many of you know that I'm a military spouse. And so um, I, we move, and so it's trying to figure things out in a new space, and I'm grateful to the support that I have in from my husband, who helps me get things together. Like in the last set, he built that wall that you guys see in the other videos, and now with this, and so which is fantastic, but it takes work. Now, I'll tell you, in the other houses, we had like a two, three car garage or an extra room, um, or extra space here, um, where I am now, I have a one car garage. So I'm actually in my garage, and so we have this whole setup. And so it's pretty uh, pretty cool. So anyhow, you guys, I am elated. We're gonna have a good time throughout the years as we continue to work on our health. And I hope to grow this channel to amazing, amazing places. So I hope that you be here to join me for the ride. I'm beyond excited, okay? So we're almost at the three minute mark, okay? And they're gonna head to incline three. You're gonna see everything on the screen so you know what speeds is right because I know a lot of you, what speeds are right and I know a lot of you will say, well, what speed should I be on? It depends on you. You know, one person may walk, cause I'm shorter. So walking at like a 3.5, 3.5 is, is fine. But some people will walk at like a four with no issue with those really long legs. So it really depends on you. And we wanna make sure that our arms are at 90 degrees. We're not pounding on the treadmills light hands, all right? We wanna make sure that we are forward, we're not down like this or behind like this, all right? We are standing tall. I want you to act as if a string is holding you up. So you're tall, like in a slight lean, and we're walking, we're walking, we're having a good time. Your feet are going heel to toe, heel to toe, which is unlike running where you have a mid-foot strike, okay? So I'll talk with you about all of those things as we go, okay? I'm probably talking a mile a minute because I'm so, I don't think I can explain how happy I am to see the record 
in here. This has been a, you guys, there's so many stories. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this going, but shortly we're gonna head to incline three, all right? And I want you to shrug your shoulders back, 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 stretch out, get ready for this. Get your mind ready to know that you're about to do something excellent today. We're gonna work, and I want you to see yourself getting this done. I want you to envision yourself completing this and do an amazing job. If you don't, you keep coming back. You keep working towards it, all right? But we're gonna get this done. We're gonna work as hard as we can to do a great job. We're gonna focus, we're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna get this done, all right? You ready? All right. Okay. I'm 90 degrees, and we are headed to incline three. Let's go. And we're here for one minute, okay? Then we're gonna head to incline six. So we're doing it, all right? And you guys know this is gonna fly by, okay? Arms 90 degrees again. And um, we're gonna play with the different angles in here as well. So. Sometimes we'll be at the side, we'll move things around, okay? So um, let me know what your thoughts are, again, about everything. All right, stay focused, arms out of degrees. We're breathing. You got this, you look good. Let me take a look at you. You look good, we're ready, we're ready. I'm so excited, guys, I'm, I keep saying that. Don't get tired of me. I'll stop saying that in the next video, okay? <laughs> All right, so in 10 seconds already, we're headed up to incline six. Are you ready? All right, in three, and two, and one, incline six, let's go! Power of 12, here we go! Now, with incline, you may feel like this is too much for me. If it is, you stay at the same incline. Stay at a place that's good for you. I will say if you feel like this is too much, take down your speed. Okay, I don't want you to hold on to the treadmill because when we hold on, a lot of times with that, we negate the incline. Okay, we're parallel to the incline. We don't sort of um, get it. So we have to push ourselves forward, all right, this way as opposed to like this. Because when you do this, you negate the incline. All right, if you look at the way your body is, so we have to push forward like this, all right? And now, if you feel like, oh, it's just too much, decrease your speed. And just like that, we're headed up to incline nine, then 12. We won't be there long. You can do this. Incline nine, let's go. Stay focused. And again, your, incline, your speed is not high here, all right? It's not high. Again, we're not holding on. If you feel like you need to hold on, decrease the speed or take it down. All right, take your incline back down to where you feel comfortable, all right? So many of you message me about, give me an incline workout. So here we are, here's the incline workout. And then we're headed to 12. Again, just one minute and then we're headed back down. This workout is gonna go by so fast. Stay focused, You've got it. Breathe, make sure. When I say breathe, you're taking a belly breath. You're breathing in, you're breathing that air in, it's going into your belly. Not, not that chest breathing, that shallow breath, but I want a deep breath. Breathe in and so that your belly expands. Five seconds, we're headed up to incline 12. Remember to decrease your speed if you need to. Let's go. We're at 12. Hello to the people down in the world. Hello, people. Hello, darlings. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. This is going to go by fast. Again, watch your posture, your form, okay? Forward, we're not holding on like this, but we are decreasing that speed so we're effective in this climb. Breathe. And just like that in 30 seconds, we're back down. You thought you weren't gonna do this, but you clearly are. Some of you may, not, may have treadmills that don't go this high, and I have other workouts for you if this isn't the right one. All right, you ready to head down to incline nine? I know you're like, ah, this is a piece of cake, Lucina. And that it is because you have become even stronger. We're getting strong with each step and we've got this. All right, 
We're headed down, back down. Two and one, incline nine. Great work, high five. Woo, fist bump. All right, I believe in you. We are working hard so that we are taking care of ourselves, so that we can make our 80, 90 year old selves proud. Um, you guys, you know, I am a speech pathologist and I work with adults. That wasn't the case last year, which is why it was so busy and you didn't see me. I was working in Baltimore City Public Schools and the kids on my caseload absolutely adore it. They were absolutely great, we worked hard. But the schools just aren't the right place for me uh, for a number of reasons that I won't get into here. Um, but I'm back with adults now in home health, which I absolutely love. And I'll tell you why I love it. Um, when we head down to the next incline, because in three, and two, and one, we're headed down to incline six, incline six. All right, you probably, you can probably start increasing your speed again. So, I love working with adults, especially the geriatric population. A lot of them, it, that population needs help, their families need help. Um, especially with communicating with family members that may have dementia, swallowing disorders, etc. Now, I see some things where I'm just like, wow, where some of us are predisposed, predisposed to certain types of illnesses no matter what we do. The majority of us have control, and a lot of the diseases that we have are brought on by, by the food we eat, the lack of exercise, etc. So I try to work with families so that they can live a preventative lifestyle, so that they are living a life where they can prevent dementia, they can prevent increased disease. So that is the mission. Okay guys, incline three. See that, this is flying by. And then remember, when we get down to one, we're going to run. I want you to think of a pace that's right for you. All right, so with the range that's below, pick the right one, and we're gonna go one minute. And then we're gonna head to incline two. All right, so next we're headed to incline one. All right, we're going to run. If you can, do not do anything that you're not comfortable with. But if you feel like, you know what? I can do this. I want you to do it, All right? It's just testing the run out. A light run or a heavy run, whatever works for you, okay? So I love working with families for, to help them have a preventative lifestyle, that, which is why I'm here on this channel, because I don't, I'm not just working out to work out, we're working out so that we can live better lives, so that we're healthier, we're eating better, so that we can be stronger, healthier, prevent chronic disease. So we're gonna be talking more about that in the future. Let's head that to one, and we're going to run. You ready? Let's do it! You got it. We're gonna increase every few seconds, okay? Every 10 seconds, every 20. Increase. Great work. You got it. Stay strong. Looking good, look, high five, you got it. Stay focused, we've got this. You are stronger than you think. This is flying by, let's increase if you can. Let's go. All right, five seconds. All right, great work. You did it. You stay strong. All right, now let's head to incline two. Great work. We're headed back. To 12, but in shorter increments. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve, and then back down. Okay? You've got it. We've got it. Alright, I'm sweating guys. I'm a sweater. Like I was talking to my mom yesterday, and she's so funny. I mean, I sweat a lot, and when I run, it's like intense. It's for those that don't sweat. <laughs> so, I went to see her a few weeks ago, and I went running, and she happened to see me, and she's just like, hold on, let's go. Three, 
two, one, incline four. She's just like, oh my gosh, you're sweating so much. Is this normal? So I'm like, I'm like, of course this is normal. What do you mean is this normal? You're sweating, I said I was running and I'm a, I'm a sweater. But some of us sweat, some of us don't. But sweating is great because it's sort of, it's your body cooling off, right? My body was doing its job. And so, but she was hilarious, my mom. She says the funniest things. But um, she's awesome. But um, yes, so we're gonna be on this channel. We're gonna be here working together to live a preventative lifestyle. We're gonna be working out. We're gonna be talking about nutrition. Um, and we're gonna just be talking about living a life where we can grow without pain and suffering. So that we can either delay or prevent disease, okay? Um, and so I'm excited to be on this journey with you. I'm excited for you to be on this journey with me if you feel like that's not for you, okay? Three, two, one, incline six. We've got it. And it should be for everyone because what does a preventative lifestyle incorporate? Fitness, so at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week, right? At least five days a week. Strength training, sleep, seven to eight hours, very important, okay? Stress management, making sure our brains stay learning. Um, social interaction, these are all things that, these are things that we should have, right? These are things that we should do. So we're gonna just be working on those things to make sure we're better at incorporating them into our lifestyle. Because we don't have to go into old age suffering. Many of you may have family members that are going through so much right now and you're like, how can I prevent this? Just because your family member may have these various dementia, diabetes, you don't have to have it. Just had to incline eight. You don't have to have that. Right, so while our genes load the gun, the environment is what pulls the trigger. So those things could be within our bodies. Like we all have cancer cells, but they don't have to be triggered. We all have them within our bodies, right? But it's our body's job to sort of keep those at bay. So when we do the work to keep those things at bay, that's where the, that's the life we wanna live, to keep things at bay so that we live this life where we're thriving. All right, and I'm excited again to share these things with you, work with you here on this channel, and we're gonna live great lives. Again, some of us are predisposed to certain, certain things. There's nothing you can do. That's a very, very small number. A very small number. The rest of us have control, and a lot of the diseases are preventable. Um, we're already headed to 10. All right, incline, let's go. You're doing great. Let me take another look at you. You're looking strong, amazing. Okay, so anyway, I tell that to say, I am back. We're gonna be working together. Keep our bodies working so that we can make our 80 and 90 year old selves proud. All right, let's keep working. We're headed to 12 already, and then back down. Okay, I know I talked a lot. I said in the beginning, did I say I wasn't gonna to talk too much? And I still am. This, this, I'm sorry. Okay, form check. Let's make sure we're up high as possible. Leaning a bit forward. We're not holding on like this. All right, leaning forward. Arms 90 degrees. And it's sort of propelling us. All right, we're not like this. We're upright as if a string is pulling us up high. Light hands. All right, we've got incline 12. Great work. We're here at the top. Again, we're gonna say hello to the people down there. Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> and again, let me get a fist bump. Let's go. Okay, stay focused. You've got this. And we're headed to incline 10. Breathe. Nice belly breath. Remember to hydrate at any time. Go us, go us. We're killing it, we're doing it. And again, if you're not comfortable at higher inclines, don't do it. Focus. You are strong. 
Let's go back down to incline 10. Just like that. Stay focused. We get it stronger again with every single step. Breathe. Before you know it, you will be done. You got it. Pump. Great work. So, this past year a lot happened. And some of you may know, some of you follow me on Instagram. So you may have known what was happening. Three, two, and one incline, eight. Great work, high five. You've got it. So, I will have a video. I actually recorded a video that's gonna be talking about what happened in the past year. And um, you guys, I learned a lot about myself. Um, when we left Illinois to come here, my husband had been uh, away for almost 10 months for an accelerated master's course with the military. Everything was great. We are excited to be back together. And then as soon as we got to Maryland, we found out that my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, passed away. And I won't go into details, how, but she had um, two daughters. One of them was minor. And um, okay, let's head to incline six. One that was a minor. And she had nowhere to go. We were the only family members that could take her in. Now I hadn't seen my niece in years. My kids had not even met her. Because we hadn't spoken with her. My sister was sort of did her thing away. And um, the communication had fallen. We tried, but anyway, I won't go into too much. But so we had my niece. It was very difficult in the beginning. She's a teen. She's 16 now. She was 15 at the time. How hard to lose your mom, right? Her mom was in mid 40s. And but the transition. And let me tell you how, while it was tough in the beginning, just working on the communication, because we're in my house, we're very close. We're very deep communicators, we talk. She really wasn't the same. Um, but she saw how we communicated, she saw how we are. And so I'm amazed to see where she is a year later. Oh, guys, incline four. Talking too much. I'm amazed to see where she is today. And I can only say thank you to God. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I feel like God speaks to me when I talk to her. She is doing amazing, you guys. Academically, socially. Now, she's a deep communicator. She, t she loves to engage to talk when she's going through things. She engages us, we talk, we are through things. And I am grateful to God. I got to my name, I God. Because it was God that got me through, it was prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. And I'm so grateful that she's doing so amazing. My children have transitioned well um, with the move and with having like a new sibling in the house, really. So, so all of that was happening. And I learned a lot about myself because I'm not gonna miss this one now, okay? Because we are headed to incline two. Let's go. Now, what's happening next? We're gonna head to one and we're gonna run again. And then we're gonna have a walk run series while at Incline One, okay? So, long story short, I'm so grateful that she's doing well. She is so kind. Um, and I have to say, my kids are, I don't have to deal with the whole teenage issue thing, the sassiness. I have a, my daughter's, my oldest is 15, my son is 12, my youngest is 9, and then my niece is 16. And they are all helpful, they're kind. When I need, to get, need them to get it together, like talking with them, typically helps and so I'm just grateful again God has been here just leading us they are just so focused on doing so great in life and I'm grateful because it, it's crazy out there guys and so I'm happy that all is going well because I was very nervous in the beginning but all right we are headed to incline one are you ready 
Hey Tehran, I've been talking so much, I have so much to tell you. Incline one, let's pick it up, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. We've got it. We're here together. Let's go. We're gonna increase, increase, it's increased. Your race, your pace, you pick your pace. Come on, 30 seconds left. Let's increase, let's go. Great work, strong. We are stronger together. Two and one. Great work. Woo -hoo -hoo. We did it. That was fast. With you guys, everything goes fast. Ha ha. This bump. Great work. All right. We're going to walk for this minute and then we're going to run. Okay? We have two more runs. We have less than five minutes left in this workout. I already know you can do it. So, I was saying that I have, I learned a lot about myself. Um, here you think that you're this kind of person. I'm not saying that I am, but realizing like how I had to grow in terms of being able to love someone else and I needed to open up my heart. And I didn't realize how much I could sort of do that to love because it was hard. And so I've opened up my heart to love um, this child and um, I've grown so much. All right, we ready to run? And three, and two, and one, let's go! We're running! Come on, come on! Only if you can, if you feel like you cannot, don't do it, okay? Don't do anything. Just go at a, a nice, fast-paced walk. You feel like, Gina, this is too much. You keep coming back. You keep coming back and strong with each workout. All right, 30 seconds. Let's increase. Let's go. Ten seconds here. Let's increase. You've got it. I see you. We're together, okay? You keep going. All right, and stop. Whew. The great work. We're gonna walk. We have one more run left, and then a walk, and you're done. So, and how thanks for listening to me today. But this year has been, I've learned all about myself. We've been through a lot of transition. But I'm happy to report that all is going well, thank God. I can't take credit. I'm always, I'm in awe of how he works, especially if you have faith and you trust. So for all of those that believe, I've had prayer, it works. <laughs> um, for those that don't, sorry that I shared my story, but it's good to hear them anyway, right? To hear how others, what others are doing in their lives. I think that's important to share because others maybe have questions, right? So I love to share. And this is like my first video back, so I am a little chatty because I'm just, have so much to share. I'm just so excited to be back, okay? Um, we're going to run in five seconds. Okay, in three, two, and one. Let's go. Last run, make it count in your way, okay? Let's go. Stay focused. You've got it. Give the console some space. Come on, I'm with you. We're here together. Let's go. Let's increase. Even if it's by point one. Come on. I see you. I see the work you're putting in. Let's go. Let's increase. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Last 15 seconds in this run. Stay focused. We've got this. You have got this. We have got this. We are stronger together. Five seconds. All right. 
<laughs> Pretty good, guys. All right. We're basically at the cool down. We did it. 30 minutes in and out. All right. So remember, we're going to make sure that we incorporate our cardio, strength train at least two to three times a week. All right. Staying away from the ultra processed foods. Okay, because those foods, you know 11 million people die a year from food, from these processed foods? It's crazy. Um, but we'll talk more about that. But just try to eat real food, not packaged food. All right, sleep. That's when our body recovers. And try to remain stress-free. Take care of yourself. Do things that you need to do. To breathe, relax as you go through life. Because it can be crazy. But let's try to stay stress-free. All right, you guys, great work. We made it to 30. Let's just cool down. Let's cool down. Get that heart rate down. Give me a hug. All right, I five again. All right, and I know I talked a lot today. For all of our new people, you're probably like, that was too much. <laughs> but it's like going out. I always say with this channel, you have some channels that are fantastic where the trainer does not really talk. They don't talk. But I like to talk because I feel like we're here together. We're on the treadmill, which can be boring, right? And so to have, I feel like when we're here together, we're as friends talking. Um, even though I don't give you a chance to talk, I'm sorry, right? Because I'm, you're listening to me. So it's like that. It's like talking and walking with a friend that just doesn't be quiet. So I like to think of us as friends where we're walking and working out together to bring, to add life to our days and days to our lives, okay? so. Um, that's why I talk because I know how when you go out with a friend, you talk and I feel like that with my community, that we can share and talk. And I love when you guys share your stories with me and email me and share. Um, so please continue to do that. You guys, we're going to take this channel to great places and eventually we'll have, we'll have, um, we'll meet up, we'll have meetups in different parts of the country and I'm looking forward to that because that, that's coming. All right, so great job today. I'm going to link a video at the end to stretch. Please make sure you stretch, okay? Um, at least for two to three minutes, stretch out. And it's only because of the angle I have today, I will not do that with you, but I want you to make sure that you stretch, okay? And I'm gonna link the video at the end so you can do that, or you can do that on your own. But at least two to three minutes, okay? Five if you can. We're gonna stop the treadmill shortly. Just get that heart rate down. We did it, we did it, we did it. And let's stop. All right guys, great job. To all of you that are new, welcome to my community. For all of you that waited patiently for the next video, I thank you for your support. We're going to grow, we're going to work together to get stronger. Thank you again. Have a great day. Remember, with every step that you take to spread more love, joy, and positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Mwah.